Yes, I think it would be okay with the subject, but the subject is flammable between people, so it's better to keep the conversation elsewhere. Yeah, and of course, like, uh, there is issues, like, if you spread misinformation and so on. So it's better to be safe than sorry on that matter. It's so hard to know what's okay and not okay these times. Better be safe. Well, you're doing okay, says playing Call of Duty one card. Happy to hear. How are you liking it? I hate that fuck face, like fucking I need to know how much he has found out. It's just so fucking annoying. Like this kind of stuff pisses me off in horror games. Like they they are not scary. They are just annoying and frustrating because of it. Which is weird. Mm -hmm. This is nothing really clear. Yeah. Uh, well, that scream is nothing new, so... Uh. Like, I literally scream on purpose most of the time. Not that way, though. A little bit different. Okay, Mr. Fuckface. We can't ask her to play Don't Starve with us because she would just hoard stuff and let us starve and die. Frustrating. That is why I hate when you need to drag things in games. Because sometimes it doesn't even give you the option to drag the item. And it's just like, oh, let me just then get killed by one hit. As the subject is what it is, it's extremely Ready crucial to keep facts and facts and all, every other thing out of the picture, which is basically near impossible thing to do in Twitch chat. Yeah, exactly. And then there are the people who are purposely trying to not look at the news at the moment because it is extremely taxing mentally. And so on. So I want to offer for those people a safe place because there are people who mentally can't handle it at the moment and it's like holy fuck not great to read about it everywhere fuck you Also, what comes to HR? Don't worry, guys, it's completely normal. It's just, just cold, some might say cold hearted. It's enough oxygen, right? Look for it. Yes. So, what is with this game? We are getting jumpy with jump scares. Uh, no, I haven't actually gotten scared of any of the jump scares because they are very, very, very acceptable. Expectable. Like, it's not a scary game. It is supposed to be a scary game, but it is not. It's mostly about code breaking at this point. Mm -hmm. 
Oh dear. Yeah, the cats hate people. These rooms are an excellent place to work the world around you. Was this too soon? <laughs> He's not called Harlan, it's a scoot Harlan. Aww. But yeah, I do remember that this was marketed for me because it was apparently super scary and then I don't think we even got on the first playthrough scared even once. So it depends on. Like I do like the atmosphere. The story was quite a cool. The wife is super annoying though, for fuck's sake. She is fucking annoying to be fair in this game. Always complaining. Gilman! Okay. Open the door! We need to talk. Just so does you your cat farted on you? Greetings, hmm. Mr. Hyde. Got the pleasantries. I know what you're going to do. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! If you want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing, as you're just desperately... Okay. Having a huge heart physically is not really a good thing. The word publicity sounds strange. Not mentally either! Coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine. And many things still remain unclear. Stop talking People and let me loot! Many others have gone missing since. And you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone Guardian missing in the end. Many people, Manhattan. even in guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. Do you hear me? Bonk. I hope the detective left something here. Bonk. 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 Also, like, this is one of those horror games where they give you limited amount of stuff. But... Then they also, like, uh... You don't really need to use the items, because you see very well without using the them. And they actually don't there. affect on your gameplay. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. I barely <laughs> Ten ball point pens. I wish I could... Missing people? What's happened here? My father was a cruel man, I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Where? Down in a mine! Jeff. Bread. That's locked. I should look for another exit in this room. This can't be real. Lovely. Oh. Somebody ate our box from here. Sad noises. Mm -hmm. Oh, check. Your best friends maybe had something like that. Well, she basically had a small hole in her heart, was treated with medicines, and she didn't want to have a surgery. Lasted for two to three years on the meds and died over 21 years. Huh. I must have lost my mind. Yeah. 
finish this I would hug somebody once again going mad. I think I'm going mad. Why? No, let's me open everything. That's gonna stop it, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Of course, of course. Fight. Okay, hell. So he throws us quite a far away. I have to run. Yeah, he throws us quite a damn far away. <laughs> Not super far away, but still. And then the loading screen takes fucking forever. I have 
to run. Let me fucking Okay, so here. They go inside here. Very important cutscene. Mm. Have to run. Immediately gets run over by a minecart when he stands up. Yep. <sighs> Time to make some awesome dinner. You have things baked. So you're gonna put some garlic fresh cheese inside and wrap them up with bacon. Sounds good. Sounds really good. I will be probably eating more lasagna today, since I made it yesterday. With some extra garlic, and then I made garlic bread. With extra garlic. Uh, yeah, lasagna, yes. Hell no, lasagna. Why do you not like lasagna? Why? Radix, okay, are you where Garfield? Where, where am I? How old <laughs> His wife, I? mother. Uh, did, did someone knock me out when I was at the ruins? Yes. Why would they drag me here? Fat and orange and lazy. And, and how am I supposed to go home? Hmm. I need to find the way home. There's a map lying. According to the map, the house should be nearby. I just have to make it through that cave. Yeah, we should go there. E4. Where are we currently? Any idea? E4 is in the ruins. Somewhere here. The next one is D9. So that's about there. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I know. Yeah, we need to go and find those. We get achievement if we do. Also, Griffon, would you actually be interested of uh, playing Don't Starve together with us? It is a survival type of a game where you play as a team. We are playing it yesterday. Doesn't have achievements. And your only objective is to, well, stay alive, I guess, and kill random creatures and such. I think the maximum player amount of the one server is six or eight. Play as a team, yeah, right. Well, you can also not play as a team all you want, but if it's my server, no PvP all the way. Meh! Because as if it wouldn't be painful enough already otherwise. Uh, basically, cheese pick up a character that only eats meat. 
And let me tell you, in that game, only eating meat is like not a good thing. Pretty much all the characters that are picky eaters in it are easier to die for starvation. Because, you know, you need to have a specific resources. You can screw over your friends without PvP. Not to myself, don't let t a Jiggy to play with us. <laughs> Which way now? Like, we, we don't need someone who will ruin, you know, things for us. We can do it by ourselves anyway. Right, so it says that there is something nearby that will lead. So it should be here, right? somewhere super close. So ruins are here. They are not near the top. They are somewhere. Smell of cooking bacon. Mm -mm -mm. And you guess not being a picky eater is as much of this running in those scenarios. Yeah. Well the funny part is that the vegetarian character actually would probably survive the best in there. Because then you can just eat the carrots and mushrooms and everything like that. While the person who only eats meat is gonna have big, big, big fucking issues because if you can't catch anything to eat, well, you're gonna starve to death and you can't eat anything that doesn't contain meat. Nice place you have, it would be a shame if someone set it on fire. Jiki is evil. Fuck where it is. So how the fuck you open the fucking map? Is there a shortcut for the map or do you just Okay, was there something on there? Or be something over here. Eat a picky eat this first. Sadly you can't do that either. So that sucks too. Right, then, then you eat the characters instead of the carrots. Hmm, possibly. Okay. There is no button for the map. It's not that hard to get meat in that game though, unless you made a custom game where animals don't spawn. Well, it depends. Like, uh, we tried to make a custom game where we would have uh, more stuff to make it, you know, easier. Well, turns out the game didn't care about my option and make everything default. So we didn't really find anything too easily. And yeah. Became something. After a quick stir in the pan, you're gonna pop those sauces rolls in the oven. Cook. Slow cooking. Sounds delicious. You made your own version of shepherd's pie last night. 
did it turn out cool? Okay. Jesus fucking Christ, Steve. They're really hanging here. Death to traitors. Some psycho thought these people were traitors, but why? Went on some McCarthyite commie witch hunt. Was that really what it was about? Or maybe. Maybe it's some kind of provocation aimed at me. I'd better hurry. Emma's on her own back there. Somewhere nearby is uh, safe. And we need to find that before we go anywhere else. Useless if you was in the tall grass zone because it's often full of rabbit holes and beefaloes. Yeah, we didn't see even a single fucking rabbit through that whole game. Yeah, we found beefaloes, but they kind of tried to murder us. It's just to that bit slightly, maybe. Okay, now we have an issue. So we are in D4. I need to write this stuff down. Wild horny beefaloes, yes, those. Exactly. No, girl, please don't do that. Don't do that. Don't go near them when they are in heat. Mm hmm. Fancy cottage bar. Okay, so E4. So now we have the issue. Yes, we have to figure out what to put on the disc. Because I'm pretty sure it just doesn't work like. Let's see, where is it? Because I'm pretty sure it won't make it this way. So. L. R. I think they are something else. We need to know what is the one that is right for this area. Is the E? Or that that would be a fucking crazy idea if we would think it what is. If it would go okay. Yeah, that won't do anything either. It 
R. Okay, if people have ideas, I would actually love to hear them. So I would say situation Nuranko with the gold breaking. You know where we can get the clue for which is the opening thing for this one? I would love to know. You dubbed zero with him, you're gonna play with us. Uh, yeah, Revas, would you mind to find Hanubi? <laughs> like, what? I don't mind trying to figure out what it is, but I would like to know where do we get the code for the cipher? Like, how do we get the right code? Because at the moment we don't know how to get the right code. We can't solve the code if we don't know what is the right code. Alright, okay, let's try the first one I wrote down. They don't make any sense, to be fair. And I feel like all these need... Uh... Like, if I'm not mistaken, they all had a specific word written on them or something. Alright, take your time. Since it's not anymore the first playthrough, so all right. What chapter is this? Uh, I don't remember, but it's the coordination. E4. Because those thingies are coordinated. <laughs> 